you got a three-year deal with FPR, gives you a lot of security. Was that, um, uh, I guess, the uh, one of the key reasons why you took the option? No, at the end of the day, important thing for me is on-track performance. Bar anything else, you, you've got to be competitive in this game, otherwise you don't survive. So uh, really, at the end of the day, I was very impressed with how they were performing on track, and in my early discussions with them, I was very impressed with um, you know what they had in place, and, and uh, you know, obviously commercially what they had in place, and, and I just felt um, engineering-wise they were going to have very quick cars, and obviously they offered me a great deal um, for three years as well. So it was too good a deal uh, for me to pass down. Um, you know, I wasn't very competitive in 2010 at HRT. Clearly I had a fantastic there in 2009. Um, I don't feel I forgot how to drive in 2010. Um, and moving forwards, as I said, um, you know, there wasn't a long-term position for me there. So um, clearly there were some questions raised from their side of the fence as well. And obviously I had some um, issues as to why I felt I wasn't performing. So we all ended amicably. Um, uh, I tried my hardest till the end of the year and, and uh, you move on. Last year with Garth, obviously an established person within that game, you've come here where Mark Winterbottom is an established person within the team. Uh, is, is that a positive, is that a negative, how do you look at that? Um, I don't really think about it too much. Um, you know, my first year at HRT, I, I worked well with Garth. I finished ahead of him in the championship, so uh, I'm sure I'll gel here just as well with uh, Frosty. He's clearly one of the benchmark guys in the category. He's been uh, right up the front for, for many years, so um, you know, I know I know he'll be tough to beat and uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully complimenting him and, and working well with him and, and hopefully taking the team up another level. We, um, you know, it's funny when, when you look at your cred sheet, uh, you haven't got that Bathurst win or, or um, but you've had those wins at Townsville, Darwin, all those um, tracks that are now big events but the one thing or the two things that are missing are a Bathurst and, uh, and a championship next to, next to my name so that's, um, that's the goal this year. I think you know, it's really our best chance of winning. We've got Campbell second year on, which will be a big improvement. Um, we've got Matt Nielsen on board, who probably fills a gap which we've struggled with in the past. We've seen double ups in pit stops. We've seen mistakes. Um, he's going to be in charge of all those areas. So uh, I think you know we need that person in that role. So everything looks like it should be. Um, you know, in the right direction, but you know, other teams are going to be strong too. So we know on Saturday when we test who did the work over Christmas and how close we are. Those mistakes have hindered FPR, you know, and, and cost many results. Do you think that's it? Do you think this is the, the start of something fresh? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, those mistakes probably take the focus off the good results that we did have last year. And you remember the negatives, not the positives a lot of the time, but um, we've, we've done our best to put people in the roles that needed to be put in. And um, Matt Nilsson's one of the best in the category. And um, you know, I think he takes pressure off the other guys as well now. So I think it's, it's got everyone in the right place. It doesn't mean we're bulletproof and we're not gonna make mistakes, but if we make smaller mistakes than what other teams do, you know, it's, um, you know, we saw Triple Eight last year not put enough fuel in or overfill it and things like that, which teams like that don't make mistakes, but um, we need to make sure we make least mistakes than everyone else and um, that should put us somewhere in the, in the mix for the championship. FBR has been prone to a few errors in the past which have cost them. How do you go about addressing those or have they, uh, has the team done enough to address those issues? Yeah, I mean it's obviously, I mean every team goes through those processes of reviewing and making sure that you, you don't make mistakes and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm very new to their processes and, and, and what, they, what they do both workshop wise and obviously go to Sydney this week and see how they uh, work at the racetrack. So look, it's an ongoing, ongoing process. Obviously part of my role is, is to probably review that kind of stuff and and, uh, and make sure the mistakes aren't made. So yeah, it, it's ongoing, and, and obviously I'm very new to, the, to this organisation structure. Can they win a championship? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the ingredients are there. Um, you know, Tim Edwards has done a fantastic job of of, of getting the, the ingredients in place in all sorts of aspects. Um, so yeah, I've got, I got no doubt that, that we can uh, and have a good successful year. Um, and championships certainly not out of uh, the picture for sure.